All right, before we start today's video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. What's that? They're not sponsoring us? Okay. Uh, Raycon Earbuds. Not, not them either. Mystery Tackle Box. No? Manscaped? Come on, they sponsor everybody. Damn. Okay, so... It's been raining a lot lately, so I haven't been able to get out and go fishing. Uh, it's not raining today. It's supposed to be clear for the next six hours or so, so... This is like the best chance I have to go fishing. We are still under a flood wa uh, flash flood watch, though. So, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to go check out a couple of little creeks or something and see if they're fishable, see what kind of conditions it's under. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm basically going to be just driving around until I find something that looks like I can catch something in it. So, yeah, let's get to it. I actually brought the drone. I thought it would be cool to get some drone shots, but it's just way too windy. Now, I know for sure there's bait fish in here. It's definitely minnows, maybe... I don't know if there's anything predatory though, any sunfish or anything like that. This creek, it does connect to other waterways that do have fish in them, so you'd think there'd be some. Okay, there's got to be something here, because it's already too herons that I've walked up on, on those big blue birds that another one flying over me so I mean they hunt fish so if there's no fish in here wouldn't really make sense for them to be here I mean, even if it's just tiny small fish there's something in here I keep seeing ripples and wakes but I don't actually see what's causing them Fabulous Thunderbirds. And there's a skull. A smashed skull. So probably a cat or something around that size. I'm not gonna pick that up. Normally I would, but I really wish this was salvageable, because that would be awesome. But you know, of course not. Oh, looky there. That is a big skull. That's already two of them. Two skulls I found. This is a dog. It's a rather large dog. Well, yeah, medium size, large dog. Medium to large dog. Still got those canine teeth up in the front. That's why I can tell what it is. That's pretty cool. I mean, not really cool, because it's probably somebody's pet that died out here, but... I mean, what the hell is that? Anyway, yeah, there's... Two missing pets that I found so far. This one, this is... Really interesting skull <laughs> looks like maybe it's been underwater it's definitely laying on its side for a long time i thought at first it was a deer skull because it's that size and shape but deer don't have teeth like that so i'm gonna put this down somewhere over here <laughs> it's kind of heavy too so that spot was a bust. Uh, I've fished that creek a couple of times. There's there's bait fish in it, like minnows and stuff like that, mosquito fish, guppies, etc. 
Uh, but I've never seen anything predatory like sunfish or bass or anything like that. Uh, but looking at that water now, like, you know, it's there's definitely enough water in there and enough deep holes where it could sustain a population of something. So uh, there just doesn't seem to be anything in it. Uh, so, and, and on the plus side, like, you know, with all the flooding and rain lately, the water was pretty clear and it wasn't up high or anything like that. So that's a good sign for, you know, the rest of my day here. Uh, so I'm moving on to another creek where I know there's fish, but I haven't actually been there in a while. So let me go check it out and see what's going on there. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. This is pretty crazy. It, it collapsed. It washed out under here. This was, uh, well, the last time I was here, it was mostly level, but you can see it's, it's collapsed. That's pretty crazy. I know it's kind of loud down here because I'm underneath the highway but anyway the last time I was here this was flat like there was a little bit of water flowing like it was a little bit of a dip but it's a lot more than what it was you can see all the cracks in the concrete here where it's collapsing down like all the, the dirt and everything underneath it is getting washed out because <clears throat> the water used to go up over here to this corner here and get sucked down underneath it. So that, I guess that's washing out all the dirt and then the concrete just collapsed and now it's flowing over the top of it. See all these cracks and then where it caved in. Now this area of the water is definitely more stained. It's not nearly as clear as it is in the other places I went. Or even on the other end over there, it's pretty clear downstream, but up here it's pretty. Pretty stained, murky. All right, so I can see what's happening here. It's there's two creeks that meet right here. This one's flowing down from there, but there's construction upstream on that one, so it's flowing in all this dirty, ugly, milky water, and I'm not able to catch anything. But you can see well, I don't know if the camera can see it, but it's pretty defined line where it's all nice and clean and clear on one side, and then just ugly and nasty on this side. And uh, it, it's like half and half down this way. Once it gets to the railroad bridge there, it just, it's all ugly water. So I need to get on the other side of this creek and fish the clean water. One hour later. Oh, got one right there. I was not actually expecting that. I was watching the bait coming up. I was just about to give up on this spot too, or this creek, and move somewhere else. <sighs> Took a while. And it's just a little one, but there we go. Something survived. Okay, so that last spot was almost a bust. I guess by some people's standards, it, it was a bust. But I, right at the last minute, like I was about to give up on the spot and I was literally on my last cast and I was about to say that I was leaving and as I'm bringing the, the lure up almost out of the water, that little bass came and grabbed it. So, it made it worthwhile for me. Um, it's a nice little stretch here. I'm usually on the other side of the river I decided to come down somewhere that's less affected by the rain so this stretch of the river doesn't really get affected by the rain and uh, I'm usually on the other side and from the other side this is this stretch is completely inaccessible so I figured I'd come over and give it a shot from this side oh oh 
I set the hook and pulled the fish out of the water with it, but he came off there. I don't know if it, what the camera saw, but yeah, this spot in like two or three casts, whatever that's been, has already uh, almost paid paid off. Oh, <laughs> I was distracted by something and just totally missed one, but he came back for it and I missed him again. Well, I lost probably two or three fish at least over here. And I've only been here a couple of minutes. Maybe I should have just came down and fished down here the whole, the whole day. Oh my God. He pulled the worm off. That was, that felt big, but he pulled the worm right off the hook. Okay, there's one on it. Got him. I don't know. I don't think it's the same fish, but it's a little one. Doesn't have my worm in his mouth, but he's got something down there in his gullet. So there we go. That's two fish today. Not to mention the three or four that I lost over here. So one thing about San Antonio is if you're struggling to find a bite or something, just go to the river. As long as the water is decently clear, kind of like this, like it's not perfectly clear, but you know, as long as the water is sort of clear and you've got a pretty good chance of catching something. That one. He had it for a while, but I couldn't tell because he was swimming towards me. But it's all right, it's not too deep. I do need my pliers to get that out though. All right, there we go. There we go. Got him. Best one of the day. I wasn't expecting him to be that big. I mean, he's not big at all, but bigger than everything else I've caught today. Yeah, well, maybe about the same size. Once he puts that fin up, he looks a little smaller. Oh, there's one on it. Am I recording? Should I set the hook? Got him. Just turned the camera on. Oh, it's a guad this time. First guad of the day. First one that I can think of anyway. I don't know. Guadalupe bass. I've actually decided to start heading back towards the truck, so I'm back over here where I started. Cause there's just way too many people. <laughs> down that direction fishing already. <laughs> Found this tree here. Huge, huge tree. Big, wide trunk. It's actually overgrowing some concrete there, so it's been there for longer than the concrete has. See the concrete in the middle there, and the tree is growing around it. Same over here. Oh, okay, look at this. It's actually hollow, it's like a cave. Some, they filled it in with concrete and it kept growing over the concrete, so. And there's this big hole. Man, that's big enough for somebody to live in. Like that's a whole room down there.
Got him. He hit it and let it go, hit it and let it go, and then finally he hit it and I stuck him. So there we go. Nothing big, but you know, this proves that the river produces consistently. Like, so, like, if you're struggling and you're not getting bites anywhere, no matter where you go, and you haven't been to the river, try the river. So, probably catch something here. Nothing huge, nothing big, but you know, I've caught, you know, what, six, seven? I lost count. Anyway. I'm going to head home now, so thanks for watching. See you next time.